What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add text and edit text in After Effects. Now just before I get into this video I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you would like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now before going any further, you'll need to make sure you have this character panel here on the right. Also the paragraph panel. If you do not see these, come to window, make sure character is selected, and also make sure paragraph is selected. If you still don't see both of them, then come to window, workspace, and then press standard. And they should come up on the side here. And make sure you scroll across and see character here. And paragraph will be down here. Now for this, I'm going to be using After Effects CS6. Now this is what it looks like when I first open it up. And the first thing we need to do is create a composition. So come to Composition, come to New Composition. And here, just choose what the composition name will be. Choose the preset. I have mine set to 1920 by 1080 Choose your frame rate, and then just press OK. So the next thing we're going to do is go to Layer, come to New, and come to Text. You can see... The shortcut for text is Control, Alt, Shift and T. So go here and select that and you'll see you'll get this right here. And it also comes up in our timeline called Text 1. We'll rename that after we put the text. So we'll just put some text right now and we'll put Casual Savage. I know it's on a separate line but I'm going to be showing you why. So if you don't like the font you can just highlight it very simply and you'll see over here to the right it's under Character you can press this button and here are all your fonts. If you've installed fonts in the past, they will all be here as well. So pick a font you like. Now it's not the best, but I'm just using it as an example. If you want to put your text bold or italic, come where it says regular. And as you'll see, it will only be regular for this text. However, if I go to Arial, for example, and come back to here, you can see I can put it to narrow, narrow italic, narrow bold, narrow bold italic, etc. Now you'll notice here that the line spacing is very short. The text is touching each other. So how do we get rid of this? Well, if you come over to your character panel again, and then you just left click and move it to the right, that is how you make it go further away. However, if it is the opposite and your text is too far away, all you need to do, left click, hold, and push it to the left like that. And that brings it closer together. Now let's say you don't like the text size, it is too small for you. Well, if you come here, you'll see it says select the font size. You can double click it and enter the font manually, or you can just come here, left click and hold, and move it right, or move it left to make it smaller. Now as you'll see, the bigger it gets, the line spacing will decrease. So you'll need to come here, and make the line spacing back to normal. That will suit your text, like that. Now moving on to the spacing between each letter. Again, from the character panel, you'll see you'll find this right here. So if you push this up, you'll see the spacing between each letter will increase. And again, if you double click here, you can just enter it manually. Now you'll see there's something called metrics. Now what this basically is, you can see where we are about to type, it is right on the edge. If we put this to the minuses, you'll see we can now type behind the text. The maximum it goes is minus 1000, but as you'll see if I just type in CS, the C is behind the E, and then the S comes out. So, if that is the case, you don't like it, well then just simply come here and put it back to normal. Now, you can go all the way up to 1000, so you can type this in manually again. Just press enter, and that is the furthest it will go. Now, if you don't like the text color, you can come and highlight it. You can press this button right here, and as you'll see from here, you get to pick the color you would like. So, put it red, put it pink, put it cyan, put it blue, any colour you'd like from here, and just select a colour you like. Press OK once you're happy, and there we go. Now let's say you want a stroke on your text. So come here where it says pixels, and just choose the amount of stroke you'd want. So I'm going to put it to there, 10 pixels. Now you'll notice that the text has got smaller. The reason for that is because the stroke is set to black. How do we change that colour? Well, if you come over here and press this stroke colour right here, you can change it to whatever colour you like. Again, anything you want. Pink, cyan, blue, yellow, green, anything you like. And then just press OK once you're happy with it. Again, to make it go thicker, just choose that 
make it go up like that. Now let's say you want your text to be longer. Well, again, the character panel has everything for you. Come here and you'll see vertically scale. If you push this up, you can see it makes your text go longer. However, you can also go to the minuses. So let's say your text is too long for you. You can see if we come smaller, it goes like that. So you can get rid of your text completely. And if you keyframe it, you can make a nice animation with this. Now, if you want your text wider, again, characters panel right next to the vertical one. As you'll see, if we push this up, it'll make the text go wider and look a bit more fatter. So if you want to move the text up or down without having to just left click and drag like that, you can also come here to your character panel and just left click and push it up or push it down. Completely up to you which way you do it. It is quite easier just to come here, left click and just drag it around like that. Now if you want the character spacing closer together, you can come here and just do that. And it only goes to 100%. Now below that you can choose the different style of fonts you can have. So as you can see this can be fax bold, it can be fax italic, it can be all capitals which we currently have it on. As you'll see if we just take it off, there you go. We can have it as small capitals, we can have it as superscript, and we can have it as subscript. Now you'll notice as you select them, they will highlight as well. So if you just want one on, make sure you have not checked the other ones. Now moving on to the alignment itself, it's actually down here under paragraph. So if one is to the left, we'll press this and it's going to put it in the left and line. Now you'll see it's gone off screen, that's not a problem. Come up here to our selection tool. We can just move this to the side like so. And what it's done is lined up the left hand side. Now if we want to change it, put it to the middle one. The text is now put to the middle. The reason why it savages all the way up there, remember, is because we messed with the metrics earlier on in the video. So there you go, I've put the metrics back to normal. And as you'll see, it's now centered. And then if we put it to the right, you can't really see a difference, but if I just add more text here, you'll now see the difference that the text lines up on the right. Now, of course, you do get full control of how you'd want the text aligned. If you come back to the paragraph tab, you'll see right here, you can choose it manually. Now, one last thing I'm going to be showing you is how to shorten the text in your timeline. Now, you'll notice currently it is lasting for three minutes, which is definitely not necessary. So to fix this, make sure you have this one all the way to the top. Or you can change it from here, make sure this is all the way to the bottom. Make sure you can see the end and look for this icon right here. As soon as you see this, left click and hold and drag to the left. And then just choose to where you'd want the text to end. So if you zoom in a bit more, you can see the seconds a bit more clearly. So we'll zoom in a bit more. And let's say we want it to be on 3 seconds. And that is 3 seconds right there as you'll see. And if we come here and play it, it's going to go off after 3 seconds like so. And that is the basics on how to add and edit text in After Effects. Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter where I keep you updated when I'm posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat where I just want to do throughout my day. So yes, me casual subs here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.